Hello everybody Welcome back to uh, my channel Here is another uh, photo blog that I'm doing by riding up the Angeles Forest Crest Highway up in Angeles Forest I am currently going towards uh, the city of Palmdale I'm taking these wonderful twisties up to the city uh, so I don't have to you know be bored on the highway on the 14 quick update I went ahead and installed some uh, cheap little uh, $5 headphone speakers into my uh, helmet <laughs> and bought a little uh, Bluetooth transmitter works very well transmitter wasn't that expensive just a couple of bucks I've been testing it for the past two days got it specifically just for this reason and I have it linked to my cell phone which is also running my GPS and my music unfortunately up here in the mountains you tend to lose signal so my music just went dead GPS is probably still tracking me but it's probably gonna update uh, once it picks up a signal Anyways, that is a quick update in regards to what I've done to uh, improve my ride on the motorcycle. I know I did a little uh, quick video a few days ago in regards to the performance of the bike. Um, it is performing very well, uh, especially up here. Uh, the speed, the shifting, downshifting, upshifting, it is very nice feels really good I'm starting to feel that heat from the Sun up in these mountains so while we're riding uh, I did say I was gonna tell you a little bit more a little bit more about myself I have a family I'm a father I have three kids got a wife I live in the county of Orange near Disneyland Knott's Berry Farm in that general area. I just started riding. I'm a first time rider. Just started riding uh, in April of this year. I took my, what do they call it? The MSF Motorcycle Safety uh, something training course, whatever the hell they call it. Forget the abbreviation. But anyways, I took that course Pass the course, learn how to ride a motorcycle because that's one thing I did not know how to do. At least in regards to the shifting. I, I've driven scooters before. So I passed my, uh, the course with flying colors. I learned how to shift, I learned how to ride a motorcycle properly, safely. Learned everything I needed to learn about, you know, the proper gear. Of course, you know, I've been, I've been driving for a very long time, so I know the rules of the road already. So I already know what to look for. I already know what, you know, your general driver is looking for, you know, what they're paying attention to, what they should not be paying attention to. And now that I've learned how to ride a motorcycle and, and started riding, it's a different type of experience it's a good one though so far since I've had the bike I've enjoyed riding it I've enjoyed looking at it um, yes it's only an R3 yes it only has 320 cc's but it is probably the best thing I've done you know, my wife would probably call it a uh, midlife crisis for me buying this motorcycle but it's something that I've always wanted to do it's something that I've always wanted to own and uh, being able to accomplish that this year uh, takes that uh, takes that out of the bucket list and believe me I've, I've enjoyed these little adventures riding with the motor riding on the motorcycle coming up here granted I'm not coming up here just for coming I mean I, I have a purpose uh, I'm going you know I have family up here so I'm gonna go visit family but again that's my excuse for getting out and going out this far 
I guess you can scratch that off the uh, bucket list, you know, midlife crisis over. <laughs> I mean, this bike for 320 cc's, me being a first time rider, it is a great bike to start off with. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's nice to have a 600 cc's, you know, a little bit more power, but for me, uh, I mean, it, it's it's just the perfect size, it's the perfect uh, bike for me to drive in, it's perfect commuter, I mean, look, I got 58.6 miles to the gallon, so, you know, it's got great mileage. My kids love it too. I mean, I pick up my one of my sons from school. He's doing summer school, and I pick him up every day from after school. Later on, as uh, time goes on, as he gets older, as he gets his driver's license, and hopefully he'll get his motorcycle license, um, I'll buy him, you know, better gear. And of course, you know, this bike will probably eventually be passed down to him. <laughs> 